Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. I'm Kristen, and today I'm going to be cooking some of my favorite slow cooker recipes. Now I know what you're thinking. I usually only cook Instant Pot recipes, but sometimes there are recipes that won't work in the Instant Pot that work a lot better in the slow cooker. There is also one other reason that I use my Instant Pot a lot, and I've never shared this with you. It's because it's a little different. It is my cat. My cat gets into everything. He sneaks around whenever we're out of the room. The worst is when he gets into the pantry, he can literally pull the bread loaves off of the shelves and just go to town. But when I use my slow cooker, because it's there all day and I'm not watching the cat all day, usually he is sniffing around and let's be honest, no one wants cat fur in their food. But with these recipes, we're gonna take a chance today. Gonna throw the cat outside and hopefully no one will let the cat in and we'll enjoy some cat hair free food. All right guys, <laughs> let's jump into the recipe. All right, Harper is sleeping just for a minute, so we're gonna hurry. We wanna make sure that you have some corn tortillas. I like the white corn, that's my favorite. We have one can pinto beans, one can black beans, one can enchilada sauce. You just need one cup of salsa. You guys, I cheated because Yep, that's just how we're gonna roll today. So we just need about one onion chopped up. Then we have some taco seasoning. One green pepper that we're gonna chop up. Actually, it says just to use half of this. One yellow squash, it just says half of this. Some Colby Jack cheese and then one pound of ground turkey. I bought a bigger one because that's about all they had. So I'm just gonna use one pound of it right now. All right, so first we're gonna cut up the bell pepper. Now, if you didn't know this trick, I highly suggest it. So what I like to do is just cut off all of the edges. It makes your life so much easier when it comes to the seeds. So this one you only need half and we're just gonna cut these into like tiny, tiny pieces because my kids don't really like the green peppers. So the tinier we can get them, the, the more likely they are to eat it. All right, so we're gonna start by putting like a pound of ground turkey. The recipe calls for beef, but beef is just kind of expensive. So we're gonna go ground turkey this week. And I have my lovely chopster, and we're just going to chop it all up. So now we're gonna add the squash and the pepper. Our meat's not quite done cooking yet, but that's okay. And then an onion. Okay, and we're just gonna cook all the vegetables while the rest of the meat finishes cooking. So this is all done cooking, the meat's all cooked through. The vegetables are pretty tender, so we're gonna add some more stuff. So we're gonna add our one can of black beans, one can of our pinto beans, about one cup of salsa. I'm just gonna eyeball here, you all know that. <laughs> just half the can of enchilada sauce because we're gonna use the other half in a minute here. Just trying to get half, there we go. Then just one packet of your taco seasoning. And I use low sodium here, but whatever floats your boat. Okay, and we're just gonna mix this all together and just let it simmer for a few minutes just to get all those flavors all together. All right, it's been simmering for a few minutes. You guys, I love all the colors in here. It's a little bit of a healthier like Mexican dish. So I love, I love the colors. So we're gonna take a third of our meat mixture and put it just right into the bottom. I forgot to tell you, I did spray this with some cooking spray, so you wanna make sure you do that. Okay, then we're gonna add about a half cup of cheese. We want it to be a little bit of layers here. Now, if you had bigger corn tortillas, they said just to put two in there, but I'm actually gonna do it so I can kind of cover most of it. So we're gonna kind of spread them out a little bit so at least there's some tortillas in some areas. Okay, then you just repeat it again. So we're gonna just do this two more times. Then just a little bit of cheese, and then tortillas on top. Then the last of it, dump it on and spread it out. <laughs> then the cheese, and then just the rest of the enchilada sauce. I'm gonna just try and distribute this as evenly as possible. Then you're gonna put your lid on, and we're gonna cook this for three to four hours on low. Let's just go three hours. All right, it's been a few hours. This is all done. Nice. All right, so I'm gonna serve this with just a little bit of sour cream, maybe a little bit of cheese. Should have probably done the sour cream last. <laughs> and then I like a little bit of lettuce with mine too. Okay, and Ansley's gonna try the enchilada one. Yep. All right, give it a try with your <laughs> broken <I'm> arm. Broken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
That's really good. Okay. Yeah, auto thumbs up. Thumbs up. And a four out of five. Four out of five. Awesome. So with this recipe, we're gonna use the other half of the ground turkey. Now it does call for beef, but again, just using ground turkey. Some diced onions. It calls for a bag of mixed vegetables, but in my grocery order, they gave me just the corn. So we're just gonna use the corn today. We have one can cream of chicken soup. We need some garlic powder, some onion powder, salt and pepper, some sour cream. Of course, this is cowboy casserole. You need your taters. I love that it's called taters. And then, we have our chopped cheddar cheese and a little bit of milk. All right, we're gonna put in our turkey and our onion and cook this up all together. The first thing that we're gonna add is the, the vegetables. Now this would usually be the corn, carrots, and peas, but just corn today and, and that's okay. It'll still taste really good. And we're gonna add about a fourth cup of sour cream, one can of cream of mushroom soup. That's the whole can. Then a half cup of milk, about a half cup of sharp cheddar cheese, a half teaspoon of garlic powder and onion powder. I'm out of onion powder, so we're just doing garlic powder today. Then we just have some salt and pepper to taste. All right, that is all of it. Then we're just going to mix this all together. Okay, you wanna make sure that you spray the bottom of your slow cooker with some cooking spray. And we're just gonna put the whole entire mixture into the bottom of the slow cooker. And we're just gonna spread it all out. Okay, so you want about 20 ounces of a tater tot. So pretty much you just want it to cover your slow cooker. It's okay if you have some layering, but you don't want a lot of it. And then we're just gonna add another half a cup of cheddar cheese that's just going right on top. Okay, hey, you're gonna put the lid on and we're gonna cook it on low for about six hours. So this is like the perfect recipe to throw in the slow cooker before you go to work or something like that. It's okay if it goes a little bit longer than six hours, it will be still delicious. All right, time to check on cowboy casserole. Okay, we have Sarah and Maylee for tater tot casserole taste testers. You have to blow a little bit cause it's a little hot, huh? All right, so I need thumbs up or thumbs down? I like it. You like it? Mm -hmm. Okay, rate it one to five? Three. Three? Mm -hmm. All right, Sarah, what do you rate it? Five. Five? Do you like it that much? Yeah. Yes. I love it so much. Okay. We'll get started. I got in my chicken breast to my slow cooker, and then in a bowl, I am going to mix two cups of sour cream, and then to this, I am going to mix just one can of cream of chicken soup. So, I will mix this together, and then what I'm going to do is just spread it on top of my chicken breasts. So now that I've spread it on top, we will add the delicious topping. So, we love to use Ritz crackers for this chicken, hence the name Ritz chicken. But you could also do like any other type of buttery cracker would, would work great for this recipe. So I crush these up just by hand, just crushed them up. You could use like a rolling pin or like a glass cup and just roll it out in a bag or something. But then I have melted a half cup of butter. So one stick of butter and I'm just going to add this to the graham crackers. Okay, the chicken is done. I'm going to just scoop out one of the chicken breasts just to kind of show you what it looks like. So it's very buttery and delicious and creamy and all those textures really come together so well. It's gonna be a little warm, but I'm gonna taste test it for you just to show you how delicious this is. We'll cut off a little bit. Get some Ritz cracker in there. Mm-hmm. That is like good home style cooking. Love it. If you are looking for some more home style, good, easy, simple, budget friendly recipes we have you covered, we have a free weekly meal plan that goes out every single week just to kind of get the ideas flowing. I know dinner can be so hard to think of like, oh, what am I gonna feed my family this week that is affordable and simple and quick? But that is what basically all our recipes are. So we will send those out every Friday 
I'll leave a link below where you can sign up, add your email, it's completely free. So if you are looking for some easy dinners, that is a great option for you. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed those recipes. Now Harper wanted to say hi too, she's about five weeks old now. Now if you are new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, now would be a good time to do it. So you can subscribe here. And then also, if you want more easy recipes, I've got plenty right up there. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.